What is going on you guys? This is your buddy the Smasher and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video and today we have the news for end of year. Let's go. Play my intro. <laughs> Okay, lads, let's see how the banners are going to be. And oh, look at the amount of news that we have in here. It's freaking insane. It's freaking insane. We're going to take a look at every one of them. And Toshiro is going to be getting his own epic raid. By the way, I'll at least say that I did spoil myself what the end of year banner is going to be, but not how the individuals or the characters are in terms of stats and skills, because shout outs to Soldex for having the banner leaked out early but yeah uh here we are kenpachi and retsu and this is going to be a seven step banner just like poll selection so it kind of sucks but at the same time it's eight percent chance of getting a six star uh six percent for a featured unit and two percent for an unfeatured but anyways uh individuals uh retsu okay that's not too bad she has sodeno shirayuki this um nanao right here and desert yuruichi and kenpachi what does he have also not too bad. Fierce Battle, Chad, Renji, and Desert Society Ichigo. Okay, both of the banners are pretty good, if you ask me. Like, there is value in the individual banners. If you guys plan to skip for the uh, individual banner, so yeah. Anyways, let's just take a look at everything that there is to know about the characters. So, yeah, let's see. And there you guys go. Kenpachi is going to be the PvP character. So let's take a look at what he has. He is a melee normal attacking character, has a chance to insta-kill, he also has ignore last ditch, so pretty much what was data mined from Heken, Flurry plus 2, also what was data mined from Heken, ignore brave battle invincibility, brave battle counter, poise, and start bearer plus 10. One thing to keep into consideration is that this character does not have brave battle invincibility, so he is gonna be actually counterable, so like... Hey, Thousand Year Blower Unahana might come back in. Although this guy has Flurry Plus 2 and has Captain Kill. Yeah, no way. <laughs> uh, but I'll say this though. I'll say this though. Kenpachi, unlike every single other PvP unit that we have gotten in the game, you can use him for Captain Week. And he's actually going to be one of the better support units because this guy has Flurry Plus 2. Like, he's just going to be hitting a lot harder. So, yeah. And he's also immune to Paralysis. And he has guard break! <laughs> oh wow, they actually made this Kenpachi good. Ah, but it doesn't have a lot of people. At the very least, guys, we have ourselves a first ever PvP character that can actually be used in PvE. So, we take it. Okay. Alright. I'm actually hyped for this Kenpachi now. And uh, yeah, no bruiser, but like, he has flurry plus two, so... He kind of doesn't really need it at the moment, but like, this character is insane, so... Sprint plus one, poise... Yeah, he's gonna be a very good overall, um, unit that you can auto with, and, uh, yeah. We just need to see how the kid is gonna be. If he has the walking vortex, oh my god, that's gonna be insane, bro. It's gonna be insane. Alright, and, uh, oh, there we go, I see the full stamina only reduced strong attack cooldown of 6%. Oh, it wasn't 12%? Oh, and she has Frenzy plus two and Marat. Oh, okay. Okay. Yo, chill, Ratsu. Chill. I need to see. Okay. And her third strong attack is a charged attack and can heal. And all attacks except the third strong attack drain and weakening and even has weakened defense. What the hell is this character? And she's a hollow killer? <sighs> Hot damn. Hot damn. Oh, my God. And she has full stamina damage boost at 20%. Yo, bye bye, Machine Society Nemo. <laughs> uh, she might be the best tech character that we have in the game. Although, I am about to get 5 5 uh, art book Ichigo, so like. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's all I gotta say. But yeah, the skills, though, are stacked as hell. What the hell are these spirits are for with you characters? And I have yet to see the kids, by the way. So yeah. And uh, yeah, these are basically the explanations for the. Uh, Brand new skills like prevent last ditch, knocking out an opponent during brave battles, prevents last ditch, 
uh, survival uh, triggering for that character. So yeah, this skill only affects last ditch survival. Auto revivals from special moves are not affected. What I am very curious about this skill is, does it affect entirely last ditch? Like for example, if you have a character with three last ditch links, is it only going to negate one last ditch? Or is it going to negate it completely? That's what I'm really curious to see, so... Yeah, I need to know about this, like... There's not that much info to go on about, so... Yeah, and then, um... Characters with this innate ability recharge their strong attacks faster when at full stamina. The skill does not affect the strong attack recharge times of other team or party members, so... Yeah, alright, fair enough. Okay. And this is the banner, lads, like... This is overall a very stacked end of year banner because we have ourselves the Canfer Emerald Tsukishima which is also a very good PvP character that you can uh, have and outside of PvP just like this Kenpachi he's very good in PvE since he plays exactly like White Zengetsu and has poise so like he's a good character. Miri is a decent one like the one thing you're going to be using for is a spot a week we also have Dordoni for a captain week which is also pretty good. He's kind of the second best to have in the banner if you can't get Kenpachi so yeah and then we have Shuhei who is uh, pretty good. Damn, I kind of regret using my move source on him now, but like, at the time, I just said, uh, screw it. And then we have Hikone, who is also a very good character. Kenpachi. This is the third time in a row that Kenpachi has been back. Like, why him? Why him, lads? I just don't understand. And then we have Shinji, Tokinata, Baragon, and Stark. I don't know how I feel like I just don't like how they included a uh, Stark and Kampachi again when we just had him on the previous Spirit Star Forever with you banner. That's the thing I don't like. So like I don't know about you lads, but personally for me, I kinda wanna only do six steps, but I'll have to see. I'll have to see if I'm gonna be doing a collab with someone, so like yeah. Alright. And then the usual step up format where you get free stuff. It's kinda irrelevant, but like just know that it's a seven step banner. Step six is literally gonna be the only step in which you are guaranteed a featured character. That's all you guys really need to know. But um, yeah, um, let's check out the gameplay lads. Let's check them out. Okay, there we go. We have the gameplay on their official uh, BBS channel. And yo, the crazy thing is that I was also not gonna include the gameplay because I was refreshing the page to see if the gameplay was up and I couldn't find it, so yeah. Okay, let's get into it. Let's see how the characters play. I even have the kits, um, you know, on the Reddit page, so like, we'll see how the characters are soon. So like, are there any subtitles? No subtitles, where are they? It's there, like, why is, oh, there we go, about time. So that way we can see how it is. All right, let's see. All right, Akao-chan. Show us the characters. That's just looking clean. Although, the one thing I don't like is that her artwork is more reminiscent of the Thousand Year Blower version. Like, you can literally see how her face truly is. But then we have this one, and she's looking a bit more innocent. I don't know. I don't like the sound of that. She, like, make her look dark. That's all I gotta say. Okay, let's just see. Yeah, we already know the skills. We've seen the... Stuff, so yeah oh yeah did you guys know that this is the first character that isn't an ichigo to get marauder interesting isn't it <laughs> okay let's get into it boys all right yeah yeah we know we know we know we know we just want to see the gameplay oh she has weakening too oh damn wait how long is that cooldown on the third tron attack my god Oh, that's a 3k length beam. Okay, okay, I'm digging this. Second Tron attack. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the same SA2 that uh, Shuhei and Shinji has. But since she has a 3k length beam, I've got no complaints. So, yeah, pretty good. Then the third Tron attack. Please tell me. Let's go. It's the same SA3 as a uh, fifth anniversary Ichigo. No complaints. Very good, very good, very good, very good. But how long is the cooldown, though? That's quite a long cooldown, though. That's the thing that I'm kind of worried about. Okay, that's insane. Wow. 
Retsu, my girl Retsu looking lit. Alright, let's take a look at Kenpachi. Uh, we already know everything that there is to know. Yo, the model looks clean though. It's very clean. Okay, let's see how the normal attacking string is. Hold on. That's not too bad. Like, he doesn't have long reach, but the range in the NAD string is there. It actually is there, so... Yeah. And it's AoE all around him on the third and fourth hits, but I don't know about the first and second. Yeah, it's definitely a 3k... Um, not 3k. Uh, 2.5k length beam. Okay, second Tron tech of the lunge. Alright, it works, it works. That's the enhanced lunge, the same one as you ground, okay. Third strong attack is full screen. Yeah, the characters have not been shafted. That's good. That's good. Alright, let's see the special move. Mm. I don't know how to feel about that special. I think it was all just show and not that much impact, but hey! That's the characters, lads. Now, here's the actual uh, data that we need to see. So, yeah, pretty much what we already know. And, yeah, okay, Kenpachi's uh, normal attacking string, the third and the fourth string are all AoE. Just the uh, first and second hits wasn't fun. So, it's good. It's good. First strong attack. Uh, yeah, it's... Wait, what? What? Hold on, this is Kenpachi we're looking at, right? I'm confused. But I thought it was a beam. I'm sorry, hold on. I am certain it was a beam. Okay, so apparently it wasn't a beam, but was like... An AoE distance 625 radius attack? I'm confused. I'm confused if that's a new strong attack or not. I think it's a new strong attack. And then the second strong attack... 725 radius. Wait. Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! That's the Tech Thousand Year Blow or Yamamoto's uh, second strong attack, where it's basically a lunge into AoE. Interesting! I'm kind of surprised they brought back that second Tron attack. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's a full lunge character, I guess. Although the first Tron attack hits what's in front, and it's like an AoE type of attack. Alright, and then Retsu. Now, is her 3k length beam the same one as Aizen's? Let's see. It's the same one as Aizen's, let's go. <laughs> that is freaking insane. And then the second Tron attack... Oh, okay, it's basically going to be uh, not the same SA2 that Shuhei has, but it's going to be the same SA2 that uh, the Power Hikone has. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby, since she does have Frenzy Plus 2. I don't think uh, she's that much better than um, Artbook Ichigo, although I do think that um, Retsu's literally on the same power scale as Artbook Ichigo. So, like, and then the third Tron attack. Yeah, 840 into 1080. Okay, the cold time is uh, 30 seconds. But with the actual innate ability, from what we saw in the gameplay, it turned it into uh, 26 seconds, if I'm correct. Like, let's take a good clean look at it and just, like, hold on. Oh, never mind, 25 seconds, so... You know what? It helps. It helps because it is going to basically reduce the amount of cooldown time that the third strong attack has because that's the kind of thing that had me worried because the third strong attack being a healing attack just meant that you're gonna have a higher cooldown time than most characters but with the innate skill it really does work and guys let me just say this right now this is actually probably gonna be better than fifth anniversary ichigo for when it comes to you know doing melee hollow week so like if you guys want to replace fifth anniversary ichigo you guys can go for spirits are forever with you retsu although I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I like the banner. It's stacked as hell, but I don't know if I'm gonna go for the 5-5 five five for either of these characters, cause like, they're both stacked, but honestly, I just wanna get the one copy and leave. That's kinda what I wanna do for this type of particular banner, so.
What do you guys think? Do you guys feel the same way as I do about these characters that they're stacked as hell and whatnot? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna be summoning for sure. I'm getting my orbs back. Like I told you guys, I'm getting my orbs back. I'm already at 1.8k and soon I'm gonna hit 2k with the new resurrection. So yeah. Oh, let's take a look at everything else before ending the video. So like, hold on. Okay, yeah, we have the special present from Cone available from today at uh, reset. So yeah, that's all you guys really need to know. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, Toshiro Epic Raid. Okay, it seems to be using the Redux uh, Toshiro's model. And adjustments to Epic Raid availability times. And uh, yeah, this is basically what they um, uh, released on their Discord feedback where they are considering of doing re-released epic raids and whatnot and uh yeah they basically listen to the fans and guess what the epic raid schedule is now being fixed so uh yeah let's take a look at the bonuses and oh look at that look at that that is clean like for tech you can use uh retsu and mayuri heart aizen and shuhei oh my god that is a clean combo because you have shuhei coming in with the debuff and aizen that is just going to nuke out everything with his strong attacks Power has Hikone and Shinji, which is pretty good. Speed has Tsukishima and Fierce Battle Uri, which are both amazing bonuses. And then mind, we have Kenpachi and Fierce Battle Chad. Hey, these bonuses are lit. I've got no complaints with this whatsoever. And the 1.5 bonuses are also pretty good too. Like, Tech has Orina Okiora and um, this uh, Gininizuru. You can use Kain if you want, but eh. And then Heart has Tokinata and Chad. This character is irrelevant. Power, Arena Grimjow, Byakuya, Yuruichi, Speed, Wadichigo, Baragan, and this Spirit Society Ichigo. Oh, that's right, Spirit Society is coming back in January, right. And then mind, uh, if you don't have Kenpachi or uh, Chad, you can use uh, Yuruichi and Soifan just fine, and also Fierce Battle Ichigo. So then Oshida Yuki will still work, but mm, I don't know, she's kind of weaker compared to the two characters. But yeah, that's basically the epic raids. Overall, very good. I've got no complaints. Very stacked banner. I'm gonna be summoning for it for when it drops, so hope you guys do look forward to that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have actually enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and uh, hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. Anyways, guys, before I end it, 5-5 uh, five, five Aizen on the 31st. That's right. Bye. Oh, 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 oh